Sumiter Taniguchi was born on January 26, 1929 and died on August 30, 2017. He was a survivor of the 1945 atomic bombing of Nagasaki, Japan and a prominent activist for a treaty prohibiting nuclear weapons and chairman of the Nagasaki Council of A-Bomb Sufferers in 1943. Taniguchi began working as a carrier for the Nishi Urakami Post Office in Nagasaki. On the morning of August 9, 1945, the 16-year-old Taniguchi was 1,800 meters 5, feet from the hypocenter, delivering mail on his bicycle without a shirt on due to the warm summer weather, when Fat Man exploded in the sky over Urakami. The bomb's heat flash heavily injured Taniguchi with near-instant burns resulting. But the blast that arrived afterwards did not cause any severe injuries to him as he clung to the ground while buildings were blown down around him. Heavy burns melted skin from his back and left arm. But Taniguchi states that he did not bleed or feel any pain due to the nerve endings being burned away. Tired and disoriented, he walked over to a nearby munitions plant, where a female survivor assisted in cutting off loose portions of skin and rubbed machine oil on his damaged arm. Taniguchi devoted his life to informing people of the consequences of the 1945 atomic bombing and campaigning against nuclear proliferation. He made frequent public appearances to speak to student groups and participate in demonstrations calling for nuclear disarmament. Taniguchi gave numerous interviews recounting his experiences and was featured in Stephen Okazaki's 2007 documentary White Light Black Rain, The Destruction of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. He died at 88 years old.